Now here's for the SGV, the rest of the SGV Raiders, Bowen Park, and all of that. It's a G-Light, swerving in a G-Ride. Who bang, homie, clutching on the 4 5 Don't ever slip, cause you do, boy, that lead flies. Cause at the bottom, we stay hunting in that moonlight. You hear the click, you hear the bang when we pass by. This ain't a game fool, the riders really earn stripes. That's only gang fool for everyone that main line. And it's a thin line, so homie, better act right. We keep it active, really active up on this side. You hear the whistle as they're throwing up their gas sights. The crime rate in the hood always stays high. Banging for the bottle, do try for the one time. We stay posted, drinking. Till the sunrise, we stay posted, drinking till the sunrise. Here's that G life, swerving in the G ride. Who bang, homie, clutching on that 4 5. Don't never slip, cause you do, boy, that lead flies. Cause at the bottom. Here we have Basse Grande. Now, Basse Grande is right there on Puente Avenue and Van Wick Avenue. Basse has been around since the 1960s. Um, it's on both sides of Valley Boulevard near the Violent Swami on. Uh, a more road now it's a old school neighborhood it's been around since the 19 like the 1960s around there going at it with the surrounding neighborhoods like Puente um, Bowen you know and you know those surrounding neighborhoods uh, Bassett has a large territory one of the largest gangs out of the SGV you know what I mean um, known for their night owls click that's the main click you know the night owls you know what I mean the old school legendary click, you know, that's what they use the owl a lot. Most of them have it tattooed on them. You know, that's their branding. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's Bassett Grande right there representing. Shout out to the homie Big Ace and um, shout out to all the homies from Bassett that be doing their thing. Now here we have Eastside Bowling. Now Eastside Bowling is on the north of uh, Ramona Boulevard. You can find them right there by by Dornis uh, Street and. Um, Patty, Patty Lane. Uh, you could also find them by um, Stewart and uh, Baldwin Park Boulevard. Uh, now they run a big chunk of you know territory. Now Baldwin Park has been around since um, the early '80s, late '70s, early '80s. You know it's not the same as Northside Bowling, so don't think just because one is East Side, one is North Side, that they're the same neighborhood. As a matter of fact, they don't even get along. You know they're two different neighborhoods. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, now, just because Bowen Park only has three neighborhoods and El Monte doesn't have, it has like five, it doesn't mean like, you know, oh, it's because they have their neighborhood more on lockdown. It's due to the camps, how El Monte had camps before and they used to get along. Uh, it's the reason why there's so many neighborhoods in El Monte. You know what I mean? Um, but Bowen's considered more of like a upper upper class um in those times was considered upper class um you know what i mean that's why the neighborhoods are in only certain territories of Baldwin. but nonetheless man them hey Baldwin park they be handling their business and east side bowling is the deepest out of out of both the bowling and the one that you hear about the most you know they definitely keep it active and they with the business putting in work right there for their, you know for their writers uh shout out to the homie silent from bowling you know shout out to the homie jay from bowling um shout out to the homie also from bowling uh shout out to um the homie negro from bowling shout out to all the homies from bowling that be doing their thing now here we have no side bowling now no side bowling is right there on bowen park boulevard and ohio street uh by rocking um rocking Bash street on on by the morgan park as well you can that's where you can catch them uh, doing their thing, um, you know, the territory awfully close, you know, especially right down Ramona, awfully close to Eastside Bowling, see where the where the beefs, you know, come along, you know what I mean? Uh, now, Northside Bowling started before Eastside Bowling, but not by that much long, you know, um, they've been around since the uh, um, late 70s, uh, you know, early 80s, uh, so just about a few years before Eastside Bowling, um, Northside Bowling's, you know, definitely been right there holding it down for the neighborhood and representing you know what i mean even though they're the smallest out of the two um they still got their writers right there representing for their neighborhood shout out to the homie blind from northside bowling it's a feed my homie right there um and shout out to the homie scrappy from northside bowling you know feed me camaradas you know down as writers for their neighborhood and uh shout out to all the homies from northside bowling that be doing their thing here you have kha kings have arrived the king's gang 
right here in Boland. They're by Solace Park, Central Avenue, and Stitchman Avenue on Clark Street. Uh, they're roughly new. They used to be a tagging crew. Um, so, you know, they've been, they were a tagging crew since the 90s, early 2000s, it became a neighborhood. Um, so, you know, they're not that old school, not that deep, but they got their writers, man. They definitely be putting in work. You hear about them, you know, kicking up dirt, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they be right there representing for their neighborhood, you know what I mean? They ain't no pushovers. Uh, shout out to the homie, um, Malo from KHA, um, Rest in peace to Lil G from KHA. And shout out to all the homies from KHA that be definitely holding it down for the Kings neighborhood. Um, You know what I mean? They definitely put in work right there for their neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you hear about them in Bowling. They be doing their thing. Here we have another old school neighborhood. Um, Puente. Now, Puente has been around since the 70s as well. Uh, you can find them by the Martin Park on Amore Road and Shady Dell. Avenue is where Puente is at. They run a big chunk. Um, now, they're not the same as Happy Home Puente. This is Puente Tres is different. Bridgetown, you know, as they call it. Um, you know, it's a large city in the SGV, and they definitely be holding it down. You hear about Puente, going at it with the surrounding neighborhoods right there. You know, different cliques, you know, tell you about different branches in Puente. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, man, you definitely hear about them doing their thing. Uh, shout out to the homie also Vicious doing his thing. Support that fool's music. He puts Puente definitely on the map. Uh, Taz, um, the whole 626 uh, camp, you know, because that's where they're from, Puente. And they definitely be right there representing for the hood. Here we have the BST neighborhood over here in the SGV on uh, um, Barley Street. Um, they're right down Scott Street and Huey on, on Mascatel Avenue and... Um, Bartley Street is where you can find their neighborhood representing a uh, small neighborhood uh, you know one of the neighborhood that definitely puts it down for you know for their area you know probably the only few neighborhoods next to Lomas they be sharing their turf right there close to them so yeah you find them neighborhoods going at it and representing you know what I mean and even though it's a small neighborhood uh, it still got its rider right there doing its thing here we have one of the old school neighbors on since the 1930s, 1940s is Lomas. Lomas is right there on Jackson Avenue and Newmark Avenue. They're old school neighborhood. Um, been right there holding it down for the SGV. Um, you can still find them active. You can still find them deep and representing for their neighborhood. You know what I mean? Uh, they ain't no chums. You know, they definitely with the business and holding it down for the SGV. Shout out to the homie Troubles from Lomas. You know, that's a firme camarada. Uh, shout out to the homies Cyclone from Lomas. And shout out to all the homies from Lomas that be doing their thing. Here we have Sangra Rifa. Now it stands for San Gabriel, so not for blood. I don't know where people get that from. But Sangra Rifa is a Spanish term. Uh, they were around since the 1960s. They're by uh, uh, New Bay Street and um, Hoovy Avenue on De Del Mar Avenue. Um... They're old school neighbor, but they're roughly small. You know, you don't really see them up as much as you used to. But nonetheless, man, hey, they've been right there representing for, you know, the San Gabriel, you know. That's what Sangra is. You know, it's a term, Spanish term, Sangra, you know, San Gabriel, you know. But, yeah, man, they definitely be right there representing for the neighborhood and holding it down. 